3 modulus z minus 2 is equal to the modulus of z plus 2i. Let's have a look at that here then. What have we got here? Squaring, let's square both sides and get the Cartesian representation first. So squaring gives... So the square of this side will be 9. Then in a bracket, this length squared will be, using Pythag, the real distance squared. So that would be x minus 2 that length squared and the height will be y squared so close bracket there is equal to z plus 2i so the x will be x squared so on that side when you square the real side and when you square the imaginary side you get y plus 2 don't you squared so we get that so let's expand this bracket then so all at the same time n times it by 9 so it's 9 lots of x squared get an x squared here times the 9 minus 4x is the middle term times 9 is minus 36x then plus a 4 times the 9 is plus 36 plus 9 lots of y squared is equal to x squared plus we've got a y squared plus a 4y is the middle term two middle terms added and then we've got a plus 4 so what have we got there? Move the x squared over, we get 8x squared. Move the y squared over to be with the other y squared, we'll get 8y squared. Now the x is minus 36x, there's no x here, so it's just minus 36x. Move the y across, it's minus 4y. And then the numbers, 36 there, and a 4 there. So that's equal to then, uh, move that over here, 4 minus 36 is minus 32. Divide by 8 all the way through, so we get x squared. And I'm going to pull that here, so it's minus, divide by 8. Um, 36 over 8 is 8, divide by 4 is 9 over 2, top and bottom. 36 over 8 Divide by 36 by 4 is 9, divide 8 by 4 is 2. So that would be x's plus y squared minus, divide that by 8. We've divided that by 8, and this by 8 minus y over 2 is equal to minus 32 divided by 8 is minus 4. Okay, so we're almost there to write down the Cartesian representation then, which is what we're doing. This would be x minus 9 over 4, wouldn't it? If we square that, then the middle terms added together will be 2 lots of 9 over 4x's, which will give us the minus 9 over 2x's. Similarly, the y minus uh, 1 quarter, when we expand that bracket, the two middle terms add up to a half of y with a minus, which is what we wanted, equals, we've already got a minus 4 there, but there's a 9 over 4 squared here, so we have to add on the same amount this side, of course, and that'll be plus that much squared, and add on this squared over 4 squared. So what do we get then? We get x minus 9 over 4 squared plus y minus 1 quarter that squared is equal to uh, 9 over 4 squared. Uh, this is going to be 16, so this will be minus 64 over 16 plus 81 over 16, isn't it? 9 squared is 81 plus 1 over 16. 81 plus 1 is 82. Minus 62 would be 20. It's 18 then, isn't it? Because it was 2 more you're taking away. So that's 18 over 16, which is 9 over 4. So I just squeeze that in there. 9 over 4. Here we've got a circle. A uh, circle, center, uh, 9 over 4 and 1 quarter, and radius, well this was 9 over 4, was uh, 9 over 8, let me just get rid of that, because it's 18 over 16, which equals, let me just write it more tidily, 9 over 8, and when you square root, this is r squared, of course, so it's the square root of 9 eighths, which is equal to the root 9 on top, which is 3, 
over root 8 underneath, which is 2 root 2, which we can write as 3 root 2, 3 quarters over 4, 3 quarters root 2. Okay, good. So that's that done then. So now we can sketch it. So we know our loci here. We've got the circle of that center and radius. So let's just um, put in our graph. Okay, here we go then. So circle center 9 over 4. So that's 2, point, two and a quarter, isn't it? So 2 and a quarter we could see on the x-axis, we'll say here. And the y-axis is a quarter, so we've got to be a bit careful here. So I'll try and draw the center here. And then the radius is 3 quarters root 2. So three quarters, the circle will lie inside here, but it will go over the bottom. It will come under the bottom. It's big, the radius is big enough to do that because it's bigger than a quarter. Uh, but it's not bigger than 2.25 because it's only 3 quarters root 2. So we can draw a little circle then around this point here. And this is our um, loci. Um, center uh, was 9 over 4 and 1 quarter. And radius uh, 3 quarters root 2. And it was a circle, wasn't it? And we had the equation just above. We derived in Cartesian form here.